Good morning, everybody. It's day seven. We're at, oh, more than halfway through our trip, and I'm starting to feel tired, man. I'm feeling it, man. All these uh, early mornings and late nights, Whew. and lots of driving, lots of driving. I'm feeling it. So, what can you do? But that's part of the trip. We got to do the ring road. We can, we're always moving around. We're not staying in one place. This is the second time I've been in a hostel, and I actually think this is a pretty nice hostel. Okay, unlike. Uh, when I was in high school, I stayed in a hostel where we were in a big room and we're sleeping on in bunks with like several other strangers and we just keep our stuff in lockers. At least we got a room and our own sink. All right, so anyways, let's just check out breakfast. Okay, thanks. Oh, wow, thank you. Okay. Day seven. We're halfway through our trip. We're more than halfway through our trip. And we're on our way to Deddy Foss. This is a massive, massive waterfall. And it was the um, the filming location for Prometheus. And what was the other one? Thor. Thor, yes, Thor. Uh, and also we're on our way to um, the crater site the creator site for uh, where they film Oblivion, Tom Cruise in Oblivion, which reminds me, I want to watch that again because like a huge portion of that movie, maybe 85% was filmed in Iceland, so it'll be great to see everything again on the big screen. And then we're also on our way to Akureyri where we'll be staying for two nights. Typical day in Iceland, lots of rain, but like I said, it'll clear up. Last year, I mean, yesterday it cleared up in one hour. and this is really disappointing it's closed well at least the road is closed but we still got 30 kilometers to go and that's quite a hike I mean I really really want to go but not if something uh, you know if the roads are crap right now so it looks like we're gonna have to turn back that's I guess this is the most disappointing part about our trip so far but I'm we so got we, excited. yeah I know this is where uh, Prometheus was filmed, so that sucks that we can't really see this waterfall. We're driving right into the crater where Tom Cruise filmed Oblivion. This is it right here, and uh, wow, we're right in it. <laughs> we're right in it, this is insane. Holy. Oh my God. We're in the crater. Wow. Wow, this is incredible.
right now. Yeah, there are my buddies, they're so tiny. There's the car. And all the way up here. Holy cow. Beyond this, it's just a lot of fields. And beyond that, the mountains. This is pretty much the, 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 the top of the edge, the edges. This is a really good view. You could actually see over it. There's a wide shot. You might want to take off your gloves. Better grip for you without your gloves. Better grip without? Without the gloves, because there's no grip on your gloves. Okay, okay, you're good. It's amazing up here. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. It's awesome. Pretty breathtaking. I'm sure we didn't get to go to Steady Foss, which I'm still disappointed about, but at least we're here and this this is more breathtaking than I thought it would be. Woo, that's one hell of a drop. Yep. You all know what took place here. Danger. Yeah, that's not a real geyser. No. <laughs> it's hot spots underwater. 700 meters. Turn oh, baby, left. Spots under the surface. Then water, take baby. the it's first left. Oh no, it's not. It's it's real, but it, they're using a thing to keep it controlled. Oh, yeah. Wow. So it is a hot stream. <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay, back out, right? <laughs> yeah. But they tricked us. The view is pretty cool. It's still, it's still pretty cool. It's just, yeah. it's just smoke it's everywhere. We are at the cave where Jon Snow got it on in Game of Thrones. Oh, it's a bit crowded. Okay, we'll go up first. We'll go up first. So the, the cave is a bit crowded. So we decided to hang around the cracks. We got two cracks here. One crack. And another crack and le it leads up to that giant mountain that you see in the background it's pretty amazing what's even crazier is that it smells like sulfur right now because actually the um, the earth is spewing out uh, uh, sulfur. sulfur sulfur gas and there's a lot of steam uh oh yeah so that's why there's a bit of mist and uh, it smells like rotten eggs right now well your cracks wide open man <laughs> What's so big? Okay, I know it's big. It's, a bit it's so big we can fit us all in there. <laughs> it's gassy. It's gassy. Dude. It's a gas crack. Yeah. Your gas crack. It's a gas crack. But we found a place in the crack which is actually spewing out a lot of gas. Look, you can actually see that steam. Look at that smoke. Yeah. Well, it came from your crack. So look at all that gas. <laughs> Look at all the so there are like holes in there, lots of holes, and uh, this rock is warm. Oh, yeah, I'm actually feeling the warmth coming in. Yeah, I can feel like, the warmth. It's really cold, but now I'm like, yeah, just up. it's nice from this here, gas. The sun is yeah, warm. it's really neat that we got gas. <laughs> All right, that's as far as I'm gonna go. <laughs> Pizza and beer, that's all I eat. Well, you should come down here. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. I don't think you can get anything I don't, yeah, you. The first cave we went to where Jon Snow got it on, um, it was way too crowded. It was really, really crowded. So this other cave we're going to actually has less people, it's not very well known. Storaja. And then this way is to Guacnabrekabrutu. Sriracha, okay. This is where we're going. Okay, Sriracha. we're going to Sriracha? Sriracha. Okay, sure. Sriracha. This is such a cool spot. This is like 
Like there's this crack in the middle of the path and then there's like holes everywhere. And uh, it's just, you know, it can go down really, really deep. It's pretty scary actually. We're gonna keep on going looking for that cave. Oh, there's a freaking staircase. That's awesome. Ooh. Oh, is it in here? No way. No way, it's in here? No way. But it's where people into the cave. No way. <laughs> yeah, don't fall in. No way, you yeah. gotta be kidding me. Really risky, yeah, right? don't do it. This one doesn't have the foothold? Yeah. I know. I can take off my shit. Oh, is that a piece of shit? Ugh. Oh. So, uh, uh, holy. You, yeah. Oh, that's clear water. Holy shit. It's really nice. But is it warm? It doesn't seem no, it's, warm. No, does, it's not warm at all. Someone lost their swimming trunks. I know. So, where's their swimming trunks? Where's Someone Where's lost their swimming trunks? Yeah. Oh, there's somebody's swimming trunks? Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's kind of nasty. Well, there's, well, at least we're at the cave. There it is. Godafoss. Amazing. Also known as Waterfall of Gods. This is a nice accommodation. Oh, it's quite nice. Wow. There's a room. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna film the bathroom. No. Still trying to figure out how to lock it. I can't. Do you do you want me to test it out? No. Well, this is really nice. Look at this. Hello and welcome. I love you some Blackberry jam made from blackberries from our garden and biscuits. Hope you enjoy. Lafi and family. Oh, chocolates and... Well, this is nice. We've decided that this is going to be our room. I like it. We got two separate beds. That's a heater right there. This is a pretty nice accommodation. I really like it. It's street level so we can see what's going on outside. We're going into a beer spot. It's a hot tub filled with beer. <laughs> We're actually doing this. We just got back from the beer spa in, I don't even know what that town is called, but it's half hour, like north of Akureyri. And I gotta say that that was a, like a wonderful experience. It was um, like 25 minutes of being in a tub of warm to hot beer and unlimited draft beer. <laughs> and it was awesome. What do you guys think of it? It's so nice. It's so nice. It was relaxing. It was, relaxing. Relaxing. It was so relaxing, right? It's weird being it sitting in beer in a beer bath. I think it's great that after you know we did all that walking, sightseeing, and a little bit of hiking that you know we're we're, we're relaxing in a beer spa. If you're ever in this area, just check out the beer spa. Um, in uh, well, just look it up. Beer spa in Iceland. It's the first one in Iceland. We're in an Icelandic ice cream place. It's in Akureyri and. They are, they got, they sell massive servings. Look at all the stuff that you can put on your ice cream. Wow. Here. Really chocolate, strawberry, and lime. I've got my coconut with Rice Krispies. What do you got? Vanilla with um, dime, the chocolate like dime. dime. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like yeah. caramelly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it good? good? What'd you get? Chocolate with caramel. Mm, oh, caramel. Nice. Yeah. Well, let's go for the caramel. Uh, no, 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 maybe that. This guy on TV that's talking right now, this guy in the white, I just talked to this guy just like a few hours ago. <laughs> I walked into his brewery and he, t and he told me where not to, uh, where to go. <laughs> his name is Sigurdur Bragi Olafsson. 
And uh, that's him right there. And I met him in person. And uh, I thanked him. I, I was about to jump into that 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 uh, like thing of beer right there, right behind the guy in the yellow. I was about to jump in there. <laughs> we met a celebrity. We met this oh guy. This is crazy. We I were just here. We were just, we were just here, parked. We were just here. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Oh, we were just we're there. Here. <laughs> <laughs> We, we we met them. That's not me. That's some other Asian dude. <laughs> oh my god, hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Oh, outdoor sauna. We didn't see this. Yeah. Oh, we're just here. Yeah, they're right there. <laughs> we were literally right there. So that's where we were. I mean, we we're right there. We we're, were, were a little bit tipsy already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were right there, and and we actually met the people involved that are on showing on this TV right now. That's awesome. This is what the Icelandic beer spa experience is like. Have a beer, unlimited beer. That's an Icelandic guy. Yeah. Icelandic food. He's actually sitting in a tub full of beer. That's what we did. That's so crazy. Oh yeah, he's totally enjoying himself. Oh, this is the the um, this is like some channel or like some some TV yeah, show that yeah, actually cool. is um promoting that town arc arc some whatever. Arc. I was sitting right there. And, oh, I just oh, did this. We 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 had our, our yeah. We had, we had our feet massage for like ten seconds. Relaxation room. <laughs> yeah, relaxation room. We're just doing this. We were literally doing this like an hour ago. It's a little bit past, oh, actually, it's almost 10 o'clock. We're having some late night snacks. We got this Icelandic sausage going on. We got noodles. Uh, we got the shio ramen, the Japanese kind. And we got some kimchi noodles. We're gonna, we're gonna do it up. It's gonna be good. This is our lovely Airbnb. And uh, I think it's gonna be good. We're gonna have a good couple of nights here. We got our noodles in the house. Check this out, we got drinks and noodles. Icelandic Alcohol. vodka, Icelandic oh, yeah, gin, and of course, noodles, beer spa, beer spa, beer spa, and then uh, beer, drink beer, and now we're drinking vodka beer. gin, and now we're eating noodles. This is our post beer spa meal, okay? and we're going to enjoy the hell out of this. It's good to have noodles after a beer spa. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Scowls. Everybody say scowls. 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 <laughs>